when the Prime Minister presented his budget, you would have heard that he, he spoke about a primary surplus for 23-24. And this primary surplus is around $42 million that we are projecting. And so, and that is basically because we, we as much as the um, expenditure may have increased, um, projected to increase, however, we're also projecting an increase in revenue as well. And there are many projects and investment projects in the budget that would allow for the economy to expand. I would say um, in more recent times, we have been running a primary deficit where we had to borrow in order to meet our um, interest on, on debt. And um, because um, the situation we have with COVID, you had government revenue was less. Um, we, we had the shutdown and so on. And so we are running a primary deficit. Okay, so, um, and that happened also in 21, 22 as well, where the government ran a, ran a primary deficit. Um, however, in 22, 23, the approved estimates when we first started the budget, the, um, it was the, pro, the approved estimates indicated that we would have run a primary deficit. However, during the course of the year for government operations, um, we end up with a primary surplus of $29.6 million rather than the $220 million deficit that we had initially projected. So you have the combined, um, the combined effect of reduction in expenditure, improvement in revenue because the economy is in recovery, recovering from COVID. And so the revenue, some revenue lines were doing very well. So you have the combined effect of the recovery of the economy, improved revenue, as well as reduction in expenditure gave the result that we had in the primary surplus that you saw, that you've seen for us for 22, 23. Um, with the surplus that, with the surplus, we're able to possibly invest in goods and services that would um, benefit the, the entire um, population, as well as invest in new uh, new projects that would assist MSMEs, um, you know, to expand the business, to recover from, um, you know, the, the COVID, COVID-19 and so on.